So the next check we're gonna do is a, a valve seat uh, crack check. We'll be using a die penetrant uh, NDT. So we're gonna set that up for you so you can check that out. We'll see if any of the seats have any cracks in them. All right, here's the uh, little procedure we normally use for our NDT with the die penetrant. We're just gonna follow through with this and check it out on video. the cleaner evaporate for a few minutes and once the surface is dry we'll apply the uh, penetrant next let that soak into any potential cracks all right next is the penetrant All right, we're gonna let that stand for 10 minutes, allow it to soak into any uh, cracks that would be in the seat. And then we're going to wipe away the excess penetrant with a clean rag. And then we'll basically be using the developer to extract out any penetrant that would have been absorbed into a crack and that'll give us evidence of a crack in a valve seat. All right, our 10 minutes has gone by. We're gonna start wiping away the excess penetrant. Next, we're going to be putting some cleaner on a rag, uh, not directly on the surface. And then we're just going to wipe the seats, uh, remove any additional excess penetrant before we use the developer. Next, we're going to apply the developer, um, which is almost like a talcum powder. It's going to coat the surface and if there's any dye which would be trapped inside a crack, it's going to pull it out and then we'll see it on the surface. We'll let that develop for a few minutes and then check the results. All right, everything looks pretty good. We let it stand for a few minutes. Um, you can see the seats, they're nice and, and white. Um, so we would see a line uh, pretty much across the seat like that um, with red dye in it if there was a crack, but these look nice and clean. So the seats appear to be in good condition. Nothing's cracked, so they should be serviceable by uh, our local machine shop.